Can LA's newest Italian restaurant make better pasta than the oldest? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Who do you think makes a meaner pasta? Her or him, I wait. You're taking too long. When you're going out to a nice restaurant, you've always got a choice to make. Do you go to the spot that's been around as long as she has, or do you try the trendiest restaurant that's got a guy like this in the kitchen? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Corner. It's time for <laughs> The Course of Time, Italian edition. Stevie, please tell us a little bit about today's restaurants. Okay, Cheetah Girls, today's old school restaurant is one of, if not the oldest Italian restaurants in Los Angeles, the original Baroni's famous Italian, founded by Josephine and Jerry Baroni alongside five other Italian families. This classic Red Booth establishment first opened its doors way back in 1945. Woo! In the 79 years since, it's remained family-owned, been featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives, and never stopped being a great place to gather with family and friends. And then we have the very hot and trendy restaurant Spina, a no-reservations pasta bar that opened its doors mere months ago. The line of hopeful diners it draws is no surprise given there are only 20 seats inside, but it's even less surprising when you learn it's already been named one of the 17 phenomenal places for pasta in L.A. by Eater and one of the 17 best places to eat and drink in L.A. by the L.A. Times. Which restaurant will have you saying molto bene again and again, eh? When did you learn Italian? <laughs> well, you'll see throughout the episode I have not. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, to kick things off, we've got Baroni's Calamari Free Tea on Rhett side and Spina's Calamari Free Tea on Link side. So Baroni's is uh, browner than yeah. Spina's. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe the new style is light. So are you, are you more of a uh, like a tunnel guy or a a phalanges oh, oh, guy? Yeah. Well, when I want to just eat for myself, I get these. And when I want to impress the people at the table, I get those, you know. Just depends on why you're eating, you know. You mean, Do you, are, is, are there any dignitaries there is really the question. Oh, really? Uh, if I eat with dignitaries, I go hard. <laughs> I'm trying to be dignified. But... It's a little spongy. Link, Baroni's was used as a shooting location for Fast Times at Ridgemont High. 2022's Pam and Tommy miniseries, 2022's Winning Time, Pam and 2005's Tommy? Bad New remake of the Bad News Bears. Okay, all right. Not the Ridge. All right. Uh, Did you already squeeze these? Yes. Spina was used as a shooting location for those pictures we saw earlier. Oh. Um, it's a oranger sauce, and then there's also a yellow sauce? What is that? What is so funny, Steven? You're just saying what colors things are, but we can see. No, no, that's see. what the dignitaries love. Whenever we eat with dignitaries, Link's like, well, this one's browner than this one, <laughs> and this one's more orange than that one. And they're like, yes, uh, yes, thank you for having us. <laughs> not everybody can see who watches Steve. Okay, that is not what I meant. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't love this dish. <laughs> Neither one of them. I mean, it's both like a, it's a spongy tube, you know? I like the browner one a little bit better. Which one do you like better? Um, I was about to say the same thing, but I'm coming back in for one more taste. The oranger sauce is, um, well, it's oranger. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're trying to do like a lighter thing, but I actually yeah. like the breading and kind of the classic taste of just straight up to be calamari. We agree! Hey! And also, you can propose at an Italian restaurant. Oh. It's my pinky, non-binding. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got Baroni's meat sauce spaghetti on Rhett side and Spina's Tonarelli al tartufo e salsiccia. Bless you. On Link's side. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but this one is redder. Come than on that now. One. <laughs> it, the meat is sparser. Um, this looks like a very classic sitch over here. But I want 
I want a lot of meat to my noodle ratio, you know? I will say as well that Baroni's spaghetti that you're having right now is nineteen ninety nine, and Spina's is thirty nine. So it's twice as much. On the I'm just gonna eat some more of this sauce. Um, nothing to write home about, but nothing to complain about. You know what I'm saying? It's uh-huh. such a good solid spaghetti, like you'd make it your house. You're just not communicating with anyone about it, right? This one has. What is this right here? Is that a is that a truffle shelf shelf shuffle? Sh- sh- shard? It, it's uh, it could be tr- uh, could be uh, a shaved truffle. Dang, look at this. This it's, pasta is like, you know how they're doing the new school pasta, which is a little bit like al dente. and a little more al dente? I've heard about that. I'm going to just let my pasta drip on the table because you already did. The truffle is here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woo, I love truffle. Yeah, that's got some. As nice. much as I don't like stuff, I do like truffle. There's no contest here, right? They call me. Truffleophagus, <laughs> and sometimes no, yep. nowhere really. Even you were you were first nicknamed that by a dignitary. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Is this, uh, you, ha- you have the floor, Snuffle Truffleophagus. Truffleophagus. <laughs> who's who's that Truffleophagus over there? Mm. Oh, this is so much better, y'all. Yeah, this is something special. That's worth paying for. Mm-hmm. This is like do it at, do it at home. Sorry, baronies. Mm-hmm. I love it. Oh no, Link, your shirt. Your poor shirt. Oh, oh shit. crap. <laughs> the truffleophagus uh, truffled a little too hard, Stevie. <laughs> okay, this round we have Baroni's famous 10 ounce premium choice New York pepper steak on Rhett's side and Spina's 12 ounce prime ribeye steak with arugula and parm on Link's side. I actually think this is working. Not a sponsor, but. Yeah, if you do the whole shirt, it all changes color. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I can see it dissipating. It's a miracle. Can you cut me a piece while I'm doing this? Just a little piece. I don't like to, I don't like to make chewing sounds on this show. Now, it's a very peppery. Like any good friend, I'll feed it to you with a spoon. Oh. That's a very peppery steak, which is actually mm. kind of tasty. I can't even really contemplate the meat because the pepper is so strong. I like peppercorn almost as much as truffle. Um, and whenever I go to an Italian restaurant, I bring a Tide to go pin. Not a sponsor. Well, you know, fun fact, Chase has dined at Baroni's many times in his life. Is that right? Yeah, I see that right there. Okay, now this one, <clears throat> this one's got a bone, it's a lot thinner. It's almost like a pork chop thin. That's. That's that's wild. Where do you, where do you want um what do you want the meat from? Cuz I like I like the outside meat of a ribeye. Like the fattier stuff. Uh, you want that right there? Here, I'll put it on your spoon. Oh man. Woo! It's not that that's bad. It's just that this is uh this, that's about the presentation of the meat. And this is about covering the meat up with other products. Mhm. They're the same price, too. So the pastas were wildly different, but the steaks are the same price. This is a good, this is a, I'm, I'm loving this. And I'll, I'll say, I do not enjoy it when restaurants just give you this mixed vegetable medley and it just seems like no one put any love into they it. They don't care about, there's nothing happening here. At least mm-hmm. over here we've got like a little bit of a trendy salad. Yeah, you know. it, it's like, you know, you want something, you want something just to like push all the meat through. Is that arugula? And you want to talk about that at dinner with whoever you're with. <laughs> I mean, this is this is nice, right? Yeah. Let's go. I mean, hey, it. trendy, trendy times two, trendy two times in a row. What did you? Oh, put that knife down. Vote for. Is that part of this? <laughs> when I start reaching up, don't start gesturing. What? Well, I want to keep. I want to keep eating. Yeah. You, you can go to. You can go to the next one if you want to. But I'm. Just, oh gosh. Just a little bit more you didn't for see us. That. Quick reminder, we have an app, and within that app, there's a game where you can answer trivia and predict what's gonna happen on every day's episode of Good Mythical Morning. It's called Think It and And Sink It. It. It's free. All you gotta do is download the Mythical Society app from the Apple or Google Play stores, and it'll just prompt you every single day. And you you can start hitting the leaderboards. Hit it. 
Also, uh, the irony is not lost on us that we're celebrating celibacy week and it is hump day. Okay? <laughs> Today's gonna be a hard, hard day for you. It's the hardest day of celibacy okay, week. Okay, but if you get over hump this hump without humping, didn't have to say it. Smooth sailing yeah. the rest of the week, okay? So what we got over there, Redis? On oh, Red side we have Stevie. Baroni's Linguini Pescatore, and on Link's side we have Spina's Linguini Al Nero di Sepia con Branzino. Wow. Oh, wow. I, whenever that happens on a menu, I just point, <laughs> you know? Sheepishly point, oh, that. Um, so th we've got so lobster what? and shrimp. Oh yeah. yeah. Hmm. I typically don't order like seafood pasta. Seafood pasta. What's happening? I'm trying to do. A, you'll get shrimp and a burrito in a heartbeat. Yeah, I. I'm kind of disappointed you didn't notice that I've been doing the spoon twirl, but of course it's not really working out for me. <sighs> well, I didn't want to talk about it because it didn't. Something was working out for it's you. It's not really working out for me. You know, I would have drawn attention to it like but really fast. I'll point at a menu, out. but then I'll make up for it by doing the spoon twirl. Like all the dignitaries, the di you know. You just put a piece of pasta on the Italian flag right in front of the Italian dignitary. Yeah. St Stevio. My spoon. <laughs> who's, been, <laughs> who's been really bringing it today. My spoon twirl <laughs> brings all the dignitaries to the yard. Uh, and what did you say about the other one? Uh, it was all in Italian, but so, it's also a seafood pasta. So it's my understanding that this is typically served with lobster, but. They ran out of lobster today and they gave us sea bass. So you can take that one of two ways. The way I'm choosing to take it is it's always fresh and if we run out, we move on to the next fresh thing. Whereas mm -hmm. maybe at the other place, they just got some frozen lobster they throw on there. They would never do that at Spina, right? Is that what you're choosing to believe? You can't control what you believe, it just kind of happens. Yeah. To me at least. <laughs> I'm liking this a lot better than that. I mean, the the lobster is, it's not bad, but something about this black pasta is really getting me going. The pasta, this is not surprising. Like these new places that are have a lot of pride in their pasta, like they're doing a different thing. They're like doing a newer and different thing with the way that they make the pasta. I don't know what it is. It's like. And they're just kind of doing. They're just kind of boiling it the way that they've always done it. I don't even know if they're boiling this. Link, I don't know. Nicole, are they boiling this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look great over there, Nicole. Thank you so much. I didn't. I didn't know that's how, what your voice would sound like coming out of the way you look, though. Uh, there's no cameras on me, so like I'm not in character. Oh really? Yeah. There's no cameras that point. What this happens way. if you? What if you came step, out here? Though? Yeah. <laughs> what One would happen? Second. Hello, it's -a me, your favorite Italian chef. Yeah, see? Sound different over here. She transformed. It's called method acting. I read it in a book. Um, you know, we, I, we could you, use you as a tiebreaker, but we kind of know that this is better. That's yeah. fine. I'm just hanging out. Yeah, okay. Oops. Uh, you want to... Yeah, the at least it would do the be honors. My honor. Yeah, yeah. Do you agree with this? There's a little sauce on it. I did not taste either of them, but I trust your judgments. Okay. Where is that from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I believe it. Again, the new wins. And finally, we have tiramisu. Nice. For dessert. What? Did, what? For dessert, it's for dessert oh. that you have it. You oh. thought she said a new Italian word. Yeah, I know. For dessert, for, 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 it was just for dessert. So at this point, it, we're going with the new. So I mean, many more they, times. They've already won, but I mean, maybe the old will bring it with dessert. But I, again, I just think that there's this, there's an attention to detail that if you wanna like open a new place in a city like Los Angeles, and stay open and then get written up about it. Like, you gotta bring it it. Just, it's not just hype. You're starting from scratch. You got This is amazing though. I mean, I would have thought going into this episode, and I did, that old school Italian, this classic dishes, you just can't beat it. If you start getting real fancy with it, it's gonna unravel, but. They didn't really get too fancy they though. They didn't, they didn't, yeah. It's just, they got good. They used judgment. This is a very solid tiramisu though. Mm-hmm. This one's in a bowl. 
They just scooped it out? Yeah. I, I think that was an accent. No, 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 that was just Nicole. <laughs> that wasn't Nicole in character. She's not on camera right now. Come back out here, just so you can talk to us. You don't have to say anything, but when you do, I want it to be in that accent. So I don't want Hello, you Hello, I brought I my food! Okay. Can okay. I eat these with you? Yes, yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you can. I have a <clears throat> confession to make. I don't really like tiramisu. Oh, well, why do you seem so excited? <laughs> to hang out with my friends. Uh, okay. Is it because it has soggy bread in it? No, I like coffee on the side of my dessert, not in my dessert. This has got a much stronger coffee taste, which makes me like What's it. the deal with the soggy bread, chef? It's a creative decision. I don't, I don't, that's why I don't like don't tiramisu. Don't think soggy bread, think moist cake. Okay. Lady fingers are very dry. So in order to make it less dry, they put it in the espresso, sometimes with a liquored up espresso. <laughs> well, you know a lot. This one's better chef? because the, the, like the cream part is really good. I like the new one better, so. I don't like the wet coffee crouton part. Nicolio, you're gonna have to make a decision. <laughs> oh, really? Let me try one more time. The sprinkles are throwing me off. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just like the espresso taste mm. on that one. This one's good, though. I help you. <laughs> oh. Slower, slower, slower. More Italian. Very good. More Italian. Very good. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> oh, look! Slow and Italian. Four out of five rounds. Spina came out on top. That means Spina, you're our winner. And listen, as your reward, consider this your official invitation to celebrate your 100th anniversary on this show with us in 2123. We can't wait. Oh, that's a long time to wait. So yeah, maybe we can't wait. That's the joke. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. And for not going heels to Jesus. It's celibacy week. <laughs> You know what time it is. We're the Kavaznicks and we're at the Granby Oak and it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. It looks like that oak's got a little problem. It's split in the middle. I'm worried it's gonna split. I'm really stressed out now. Click the top link to watch us guess what some AI generated companies do in Good Myth of the War. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Download the free Mythical Society app to play our daily GMM trivia game, Think It and Sink It, available to everyone.